In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a parabola of the form y equals x minus h squared plus k. We're asked to graph the parabola y equals x plus 4 squared plus 1 and we're told to do so by plotting five points, the vertex, two points to the left and two points to the right. So I'll create a table where we'll plug in those five points but first we have to find the vertex and the vertex will occur where what is being squared equals zero. So the question is where does x plus 4 equal zero? And that happens where x equals negative 4. So our vertex will be when x equals negative 4. And since we're plugging in two values to the left and two values to the right, moving to the left I'll plug in negative 5 and negative 6. Those two values are the left of negative 4 and then moving to the right negative 3 and negative 2 will serve as our five values that we'll be plugging in to get coordinates for. And in this case I will just start at the top with negative 6. If I plug negative 6 in for x I would have y equals a negative 6 plus 4 squared plus 1 Order of operations says work inside the grouping symbols first. So inside the parentheses this would be negative 6 plus 4 negative 2 squared plus 1. Moving to exponents negative 2 squared would be a positive 4 plus 1. So y equals 5 would be our y value when x is negative 6 y is 5. So out add that coordinate negative 6 positive 5 and then we'll move on to the next x value negative 5 we would have y equals parentheses negative 5 plus 4 squared plus 1 inside parentheses we would then simplify to negative 5 plus 4 as negative 1 squaring the negative 1 would be a positive 1 plus the 1 outside y equals 2 is our y value. So we now have the coordinate negative 5, 2. Graphing that, we would then move on to the next x value, negative 4. Substituting into the equation, we now have y equals a negative 4 plus 4 squared plus 1. Inside the parentheses is now going to be a 0 squared plus 1. So y equals 0 plus 1 or 1. We now have the coordinate here at the vertex of negative 4, 1. So negative 4, 1 on the graph. We can move on to negative 3. Substituting in, y would now equal a negative 3 plus 4 squared plus 1. Inside the parentheses, we now have a 1 squared plus 1. 1 squared is 1. So simplifying y equals 2 is our fourth coordinate that occurs at the point negative 3, 2. And then lastly, substituting in negative 2, we would have y equals negative 2 plus 4 squared plus 1. So inside parentheses, negative 2 plus 4 is 2 squared. 2 squared would be 4 plus 1 gives us a y equals 5. So our last coordinate is at negative 2, 5. Negative 2, 5. From here we can see the shape of our parabola which has that U-like shape to be something like this.